last video we were looking at was simple little web server that's designed specifically for sharing files and it is a Python script uh, so obviously you'll need Python installed obviously if you're on Linux and you install it through your package manager it will install Python if Python isn't already installed which reality uh, on, on, on pretty much all Linux systems unless it's a very minimal system and even uh, Mac OS systems uh, Python's usually installed and if it's not installed or you're on a Windows machine, it's not hard to install in most cases. Um, but Wolf, again, makes it very easy to share files, but that's both downloading and uploading. So let's look at another option. If we scroll down to the bottom of the man page here, you can see there's a capital U, and it provides an upload form for allowing files, uh, uploading files. So, I'm gonna say Q. So, what I can say is Wolf, and I can say dash U, and whatever directory I'm in is where it's going to upload files to. Uh, so I'm just gonna, you know, use the directory I'm in here. I'll hit enter, and here again, it starts up a web server by default on port 8080, unless you change it. And I'm gonna come here, and I'm in my web browser, I'm gonna hit enter, and I can do this on a mobile phone or any device with a web browser. And I can say, choose a file, and I will choose this MP3 here. I'll say, open, I'll say, upload, and it says, thanks a lot. And when I go back here, again, we didn't give it a count, so after it does one transaction, it kills the web server, uh, but it uploaded a MP3 right here, uh, some audio from a soundtrack, and so it makes it easy to upload files as well as download files. Uh, and again, so by default, if you don't give it a count, it's gonna let you upload one file and then stop. But of course, you can give it an account and allow someone to upload multiple files before it ends. So we've looked at downloading files with it, downloading directories with it in the last video, and now uploading files. That's simple. So if you ever need a web server to upload files, this is one very quick and easy way to do it. You don't need to create any any uh, you know server side scripts, whether it be PHP, Python, or Bash, or whatever. And you don't need to create an interface because it's all there already designed for you, and it's built into the Python script. Which, how do you get the Python script? Again, it's in your package manager, which is the best way to get it on a, a Linux-based system. But it, since it's just a Python script, you should be able to put it on any system that has Python running on it already. So uh, let's go ahead and look at that. If we go back into the man page for, for Wolf, there's one more option we haven't really looked at, which is the dash S option, which distributes Wolf itself. So it will serve itself up as a file uh, if, you, if you want to share it. So again, uh, let's say it's very easy to install Python on, uh, let's say, my, my Android phone. What I can do is I can come here. Did I start that up? No. So I'm going to say wolf-s. And again, it starts up the web server here. I can go to it by hitting enter. And now, as you can see, I just downloaded a file called wolf. It's inside my downloads directory. So if I vim into my downloads directory, the file wolf. Here it is, it's the script itself. All I have to do is make it executable or pass it through Python. And it's got everything built in to do everything <laughs> that, that we've just looked at. And so you just made a new copy, you basically installed it on the new machine. Um, and again, it's, 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 it's only, how many, how many lines of it? It's very short just over 500 lines of Python code. And very quick here, if we scroll through here, I haven't really looked at this code, but just scrolling through a minute ago, you can see the different uh, HTML uh, tag sections and here's one file uploading so if you wanted to change how the upload file uh, folder or page looks like you could do that here like I, you know if I was going to use this a lot I would probably go in there and uh, you know add in some links to some uh, boots uh, you know Twitter bootstrap and make the page look nicer for mobile devices with big buttons and whatnot uh, but that's that's it uh, that's Wolf. It's very simple. I think we've gone through every command uh, that's available for it. It should be in your repositories. Um, go ahead and check it out. And as always, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description to my website. Uh, also a link in the description to uh, my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash mylex1000. Uh, if you like my videos and would like to support, uh, Patreon is one way of doing it. You can also support me at my website through PayPal. Just go to filmsbychris.com and go to the support section. At filmsbychris.com, you can search through all of my videos from both my channels. There's also a section there to get to uh, my GitHub page and a uh, page where you can search through all my example scripts that I have, all my notes, all my computer notes that I put up online for you guys. So go ahead and check those out. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day.